today is the start to Memorial Day weekend, which means summer is right around the corner and old Colorado City's annual territory days begin. This is the biggest street fair in the state for more than 45 years. As the first day kicks off in just a few hours, we have 11 News reporter Rebecca Gavazdan out there now with all the details. Rebecca. Hey, good morning, guys. I'm near Colorado Avenue, and as you guys can see, there are a bunch of businesses and different food places that are getting ready for this long-awaited weekend of Territory Days, and this is one of Colorado Springs' biggest events of the year, and this also might be somebody's first time attending. So we're going to give you the all you should know before heading out the door, and I'm here with Scott Scholes, who's a know-all of Territory Days. And Scott, how many people are we expecting this year? I will expect 30 to 50,000 each day, so it could be upwards of 150. 50,000 people for the weekend. Yeah, that's a lot of people coming here to celebrate. And, you know, with parking and traffic, what should people know, you know, to make their travels a little less easier, a little easier and less stressful? Uh, it's definitely best to park downtown uh, near the cab building. We have a shuttle stop down there with eight buses taking people back and forth. It's at uh, 130 South Nevada. Um, you can ride bike down there, walk, catch a ride, whatever you need to do. But there's also a big parking garage right there where they'll charge like a dollar an hour for parking. And then we also have a VIP option if the tickets aren't sold out over at uh, the Colorado Shrine Club. And that's a lot closer, sorry. Yeah, no, you're good. So they could definitely check like for tomorrow or the next day to see if that shrine is still open for parking. I yeah, mean, it's sold out today. Exactly. They can just go to uh, shopoldcoloradocity.com slash territory days, and that has all the information there about parking, a lot of other parking options. Of course, it's challenging down here to find any parking, but there are a few paid lots around and some street parking as yeah. well. Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> um, but is there anything else that people should prepare for just as a heads up before, you know, heading out the door and come making their way down here? Yeah, always, uh, you know, it looks like the weather's going to be perfect for the whole weekend, but you never know. We live in Colorado, so, you know, be prepared for anything. Make sure you wear some sunblock today. It looks like beautiful blue skies. Um, yeah, and we have food and drink, so you don't need to worry about that. It's everywhere up and down the avenue. Um, yeah, just... Uh, Catch a ride if you can. That's always the, <laughs> the best <laughs> way. Part. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, thank you so much for talking with me, Scott. We might be talking later on some of the activities that are going to be happen happening down here today in the next 30 minutes. But also KKTV will be here all three days, and we have a booth set up, so make sure to come say hi and chat with us. But happy Territory Days, and we will be back shortly with more coverage. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, old Colorado City, I'm Rebecca Gavazdan, KKTV 11 News. Hi, Rebecca.